Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing one of my highly requested videos. Um, it's going to be these pinwheel bows. So I'm going to show you two different ways. This one is made out of fabric and then I'm going to show you how to make it out of ribbon. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please consider subscribing. If you have any video requests, let me know. And let's get started. Okay, so to start, you're going to need some ribbon. This ribbon is an inch and a half wide. I like this size the best. And so what you're going to want to do is hold the ribbon so the polka dots are facing away from you. And then you're going to loop it down and loop it back up. And you're going to slide this piece between the back piece and the front piece. Then you're going to loop it back around. And then you're going to loop it back up towards the back. So it starts down, loops in front, back up around, loops in front, and ends up in the back. Now you're just going to fan it out. You're going to start by folding it down, then up, down, then up. Just like so. Now you need like a little piece of wire or string or something. I'm using the little ties that go around bread when you buy them at the store. Whatever you can find works. It will be covered up. You won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to use this wire around the center. I'm going to twist it tight so that it will hold the bow in place. And now I'm just going to kind of manipulate it until it is laying how I want it to lay. This is the front so that you can see all of the polka dots. Then what for this bow, I want it to have... I don't know what it's called, the little peaks on the end. So how you make that is you fold the ribbon in half and cut it on a diagonal. And now the ends are done and all we have to do is wrap a piece around the middle to hide that wire. So you could just cut off a little piece of ribbon and wrap it around or I really like the knot look. So what I'm going to do is take the leftover ribbon and I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Now I'm just twisting it and stuff to make sure that the polka dots are facing out. Then I'm going to put the knot right there in the center and I'm going to fold um, the ends up over the back and just hot glue them in place. All right, you just want to make sure that the knot is centered and make sure you put it on there snug so it doesn't move. And that's pretty much it. The hardest part of this bow is actually holding it in your hand before you fan it out. So you can do the ends in the peak like I did, the V shape, or you can just cut them straight or slanted or whatever you want. So this is another one that I made with the slant. Either way, it's super cute and they're easy to make. I have had a request if you can make this with fabric, so now I'm going to show you how to make it with fabric. Okay, so for the fabric one, all you need is a piece of fabric. This fabric I cut three and a half inches wide, 
and I haven't cut the length yet, but the length does end up being 28 inches. So what you're going to want to do is just fold it so the right sides are together, just like that. And then you're just going to sew down the side. You're going to sew it all the way down. Okay, so I have sewn it all the way down and now I am just flipping it so the right side is facing out. I used a colored pencil just to help the process move along a little bit faster. <laughs> Now that it's all flipped what you're going to want to do is bend the edges in about a quarter of an inch and you're just going to hot glue the end shut you can also sew it but i like the look of hot glue better then you don't see the stitching Okay, once that is done, you're just going to make it like you did the other one. You want to make sure that the right side of the fabric, the part that you want to see, is facing away from you. So if there's a seam, you want to make sure that the seam is facing you. And then you just wrap it down and up and down and up. And you can make this as big or small as you want with either bow. You just make the loops bigger or smaller. It just depends on your style and what you like. And I always start by folding the fabric down, then you don't have ends sticking up. And once again, I just used a bread tie and the process is pretty much the same. I'm just gonna cut off a little piece of fabric to wrap around the middle. And there you have it. It's fun with the ribbon, it's fun with the fabric, whichever way you decide to go. I used cotton fabric for this, but I'm sure you could use any kind of fabric. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please consider subscribing and we'll see you next time.